Yeah, just uh, you know, not pleased, disappointed uh, with Saturday. You know, we definitely uh, expected fully to to win that game, and just uh, you know, didn't do enough to win it. And uh, it kind of it hurts me for our guys because I think they're preparing and working and playing very, very hard, and there's just some things not happening in the game to. Uh, to get that done, and, and that starts at the top with me. I got to do a better job of you know preparing them and, and getting them ready because I think they got the effort there to to do that and, and win games. And uh, you know we just got to get back on track this week and, and find a way to win. You know, uh, a game in itself. You know, you get off to a bad start, you spot them. Uh, they have a good drive. Our quarterback played really well. Uh, early especially, and uh, they get up seven on us, and then we turn it over on the first play of the game, and really you could call that a pick six. They turn it down to 11, cash that in, they're up 14 nothing, And we dug ourselves back out of the hole uh, somewhat, but uh, you're not going to beat anybody, um, you know, turning it over three three times and giving them 21 points. You know, you, you, you turn the ball over three times for touchdowns, basically. Um, you know, you're not going to beat anybody. You know, so we got to correct that. First and foremost uh, is just taking care of the football. And uh, up until the last two weeks, we've done a decent job of that most of the year. Uh, we've been in the plus on the giveaway, takeaway, and then you have a couple games where it's uh, we had three and they had none, and you score three times for them, that kind of goes out the window. So that's, that's become a problem. Uh, you know, in scoring the red zone, we had two opportunities on fourth down to make uh, plays. and. You know, didn't that was a difference in the game. Uh, defensively, I think we kind of adjusted after the first game, first drive, and you know played pretty good. We kind of bend but don't break. We held them some field goals in the red zone. That's a good offensive team. So, you know, really to hold them to 17 is a pretty good, a pretty good outing. You know, uh, you know defensively. So, you know, putting that behind us and just moving on, trying to win this last home game and you know, and find a way to win. So, like I said, just. Uh, if you watch these guys prepare each week, you you'd be proud of them too. You know, uh, now our, our training staff's kind of overworked because uh, the injury bug is is bitten us and continues to bite us. Uh, you know, so these guys are playing through a lot of that stuff, and we got guys playing, you know, banged up. So I appreciate what they're doing for our team. So, like I said, just getting back to work this week. Don't look for Steele to be back this week. Uh, Clark's going to be yeah, it's going to be down the wire, you know. So we'll just have to see how he progresses through the week. These things are unpredictable when you're dealing with concussions. You just don't know, uh, you know, when those symptoms are going away. He is not all the way symptom free yet, so he's got to get there in a hurry to have a chance for Saturday. And then the three offensive linemen, Grable, Angelosi, and Bushman. Well, you know, uh, people don't know that we lost. Uh, you know, play without three starting offensive linemen Saturday, basically. Grayboy and Candelosi got hurt during the game. Wagner was out. And, uh, you know, we'll sit there, you know, good report on Grayboy. It's not a torn lab hip labrum. It's it's a strained hip labrum. So, I don't know that he'll be back this week, maybe next week. And then uh, Zach will be out. He uh, broke his foot. So, that's about a dozen season-ending injuries we've had. What about Webster? What's his do what now? What about Wesner? What's his injury and his status? Yeah, he's out. He's out this week too. Can you talk about Abilene and what you've seen out of Yeah, they're a good football team. They, um, yeah, they've been up in games. They were up on Central Art pretty big early, uh, so they've been in every game and. You know, uh, a, a team that's, I, I think, just a blue-collar team. They got athletes, but uh, they, they play physical football, a lot of quarterback run stuff offensively, a lot of formational stuff to get you in a bind. And, uh, they, you know, like to run the ball, but they can throw it. And, you know, defense are solid, got athletes. So, you know, another good athletic uh, Texas team coming to town. And, uh, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be a challenge for our guys. And you have to play four quarters. You know, they uh, they going to battle you the whole time. So they've been, they've been in every game they've Play for sure. John, uh, what are your thoughts on the the Action Network report yesterday that you guys are headed to Conference USA? Um, you know, y'all know as much as I know about it. You know, I, I leave those things to. Uh, 
our administration, you know, our president, uh, our athletic director, and our board of trustees. So uh, I stay out of those things. And, and uh, like I said, it, it's uh, a deal where I give you personal opinion, but I, I don't know much really, Mark, to tell you the truth. So it is, it is what it is right now. The information you've got, that's kind of what I've got, you know. Uh, I would say this: if if Jacksonville State's ever going, you know, move up to FBS, probably now's the time. It's now or never in the landscape of college football. So, uh, you know, I, I think that's uh, that's my opinion on it. You know, for what that matters. Do you speak to what the the players are doing against particular Nam next year? Yeah, Nam just. Uh, Man, Nam's the same guy every day, and uh, he's a joy to be around. You know, he's he's done everything that it's ever been asked of him. Uh, I don't remember, and you know, you remember players a lot like this. So, uh, you know, I say I've never seen Nam Horton's name, you know, on a list before. You know, and, and sometimes those, uh, you know, on, on, on a list of missing class, missing a workout. Uh, you know, not not being where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there. You know, he's just always been a a quality quality gamecock. I mean, he just does everything he has to do. He's flipped back and forth from you know D line to O line to the, you know, and has went through periods where he hadn't played uh, to, through periods of where he's played more and then played less. And he's just always been the same attitude. You know, just day in day out. I mean, it's really just uh, been a joy to watch his progress. You know, is, is a student athlete. He's a great student. Does a good job with that. And you know, I, I think if you took a poll on our team and, and you said, uh, you know, give me uh, a, a, the top teammates on the team, and Nam's name will be in that mix with our guys. You know, and that, that's what people think of Nam. You know, when you say Nam's name, so uh, he's always got a smile on his face, and uh, that's what I appreciate about him. He's like I said, he's the same every day. Day in, day out. That's what you expect out of people, you know, and that's why he's going to do really well in life is, is how he affects the people around him. So uh, I'll miss him when I don't get to see him, just like all these you know, other seniors have come and gone. You, you get attached to guys, you get to see them every day, and then you go to – you don't see them for a few months, and it, that makes it tough. But uh, Nam's done a good job here, for sure. Nam, uh, just speaking about how you – Uh, well, I found JSU because it's literally like right in my backyard. And I had a cousin to play here like not too long ago, well, two of them actually, and Gabriel Chambers and Maurice Dupree. And they used to always come around and just preach about how everybody had a, it's just an amazing culture here. And so then when I came on my first visit here, I fell in love with it. And I've been in love being here ever since. It's amazing. Coming from well, when I went to, where I went to high school, winning was just a huge thing. And then I kind of went to a little part of the time where we didn't really win that much. So I really wanted to get back to winning, to winning. And when I came here, it really brought the winning spirit right back out of me. And I just continued to progress and help the guys around me continue to just build the culture we have here. Uh, it hasn't hit me fully yet. I it was mentioned to me the other day, and it kind of like I kind of had to sit back and be like, "Dang, yeah, it is gonna be my last home game." But I'm just trying to take it all in, just gonna take in the crowd. Yeah, it's probably gonna hit me like right after, the, like as soon as the final buzzer is over. But I'm not gonna try and think about it too much until after the game. Hey John, you've won so many big football games here, and you haven't been in this situation that many times. But how do you keep guys from checking out and just kind of, you know, mailing it in the rest of the year? I think our guys got too much character to do that. I mean, we got too much character on a football team to do that. And uh, very few times in my career we lost, you know, back-to-back -back games. Uh, you know, I don't. Yeah, you know, I, I I love to win. 
but I hate to lose. I despise losing. And uh, I like to put people around me that, that feel the same way. And I think that's the character of this team. And, you know, what I was talking about earlier about practice, I've not seen a difference in these guys the way they practice. You know, I mean, they, they prepare every week as hard as they can. And they're well prepared, you know. And, and uh, you know, sometimes that's life. Sometimes you're, you're you know, not, that's why I coach the game. There's a life lessons you learn. And, and probably you learn more from losing than you do from winning. Uh, it's not easy and it's it's tough, but because uh, a lot of times in life you can be doing everything right, everything you can be working as hard as you can possibly work, and you even work harder sometimes, and you not get the outcome that you you feel like you deserve for your work that you're putting in, and because uh, we're not getting you know God don't guarantee us success all the time, you know, so you just got to you know, persevere and push on and never quit working. And I think our guys have that mentality. I've seen that week in, week out in, in, in the way they're preparing. But uh, like I said, not easy to deal with. I don't think we got guys that are going to check out. I got, I got too many older guys that are playing with torn labrums in their shoulder, uh, torn biceps. Uh, we, we probably got, uh, you know, the, all the guys we've had a season in injuries, we probably got another four or five that need season in injuries right now, but they're just able to play with what they got going on. So they're not, these guys are not going to check out. They're going to play hard and, you know, come out there and compete uh, on, on every Saturday, you know, and uh, that's not guaranteeing a win or anything, but I mean, we will come out and give it our best shot and, and play well. It won't be because we don't show up, play hard and, and get after it. But I appreciate you asking that question. That's, that's kind of what football is about. You know, at least a lot of times you're not going to win you know, every game you play and uh, things are just, every year is different. I mean, this season's been, we've had more injuries in this season than any season I can ever remember being a part of, you know, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how much correlation that is. We're playing three seasons in one and, you know, four power, you know, four FBS schools. I, I don't know, you know, I don't know the correlation of that. We're going to do a little study on it when we get through and, and kind of, you know, see see what that that means, but it's uh, you don't want to say snake bit on injuries, but uh, it's it's they're, they're mounting up with that, and and that's kind of where I'm proud of our guys too. Is you know, spring we had to have that next man up mentality because of testing. You know, to know who was going to be out for us testing, and you know how that was going to look, and then you know this this fall it's been due to injuries. You know, our team's changed so much from spring to now with. With that going on, but I, I still see young guys stepping up, older guys that maybe had not played step in and play, and um, you know just giving us everything they got. Um, Coach Marks, you know, just um, looking at it, you know, um, rest of the season, with, with um, the way the season's gotten, you've mentioned the playoffs are probably a long shot now. Um, how much do you weigh playing some Matthew Combo a little bit more versus you know giving Cooper um, reps? Yeah, we may shake every position up a little bit. Just you know, we're playing a lot of people, you know, and, and we we've, we've played as many young guys as we can. The, the thing you don't want to do with freshmen, I think, with the four game rule is, you know, blow a you know a, a freshman year, you know, uh, going over that four games. So we got a lot of different positions played a lot of special teams for us during the year, that, and they're at that four game mark. So we will try not to play any of those guys. Uh, and, you know, Caldwell, you could see him. You could see him at that, that quarterback position some. And, you know, just just moving forward, just uh, shaking things up and making sure we are playing some young guys. But we want to win games, too. I mean, it goes back to we're going to play, you know, the, the player that puts us in the best opportunity to win the game at that situation, you know. So, you know, are we treating these games as – you know, preseason for next year, no. That's not fair to, like, Nam and these older guys sitting beside us. We're going to play the games to definitely win the games and, you know, not like practice games for sure. So, um, you know, and playoffs are, are pretty much, uh, you know, a no-go. But uh, there is, you know, a, a way that you could get in. You'd have to have a whole lot of help, you know. So our team, you know, they, they kind of hang on to that a little bit. And uh, I think they will go out and play well, and they will play well Saturday. You know, just take it like we always do one week at a time and try to go 1-0 and this week. And uh, we're going to do our best job to do that. It's getting real close, Mark. I mean, he's uh, – we've missed him this fall. You know, I think any time you take ultra competition out of position, it don't help it any, right? So, uh, him not being able to go after coming off of a great spring uh, is, is hurt that position where you got competition in the room. And, 
I think he's close. I mean, it, it kind of scares me a little bit because he's just out of surgery May the 14th, so it hasn't been that long. A lot of times it takes guys, you know, 10, 10 months to a year to fully recover, so it, it's a little early. Uh, but he's doing really good. He's practicing. We did dress him out Saturday. Um, and as soon as he's ready to play, we're going to let him play a little bit.